Hey everybody, Gridbot Guru here. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Pinex and their Infinity Bot. Now, a lot of times people are kind of confused about an Infinity Bot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to show you exactly what it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re replay. This is Bitcoin. So I'm going to replay it and I'm going to go all the way to right here. So this is Bitcoin USDT, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like this is my grid bot, my infinity grid down here. What I usually like to do is I like to start one when the price is low. That way it'll get some dips and then it'll go. So what you're going to notice is this is the top of my grid. We're going to say is uh, 58.9 is the top, and the bottom is 58.3. Now, normally, this is a five-minute chart. Normally, this is not going to be what you use a grid for and how an infinity grid works. Um, usually, it's going to have a bigger spread. but So you guys can actually see how this ends up working. What I want to do is I want to show you on a small scale. So I'm going to show you, and I'm going to go ahead and press play. We backtracked a little bit. So now, at this point, you're going to notice that there is a buy uh, and it triggered so there's a buy at 58.9 and there's another buy at 58.8 the profit from those grids you will keep in the grid and what happens is the reason it can be an infinity grid is as soon as you get enough what will happen is it will put an additional grid at the very top. So as you are going and as this, again, this grid is going to be much larger, which is why you have to start with a larger amount of money to actually start the grid because the grid holds some of your funds back, okay, for one, to buy, two, to keep going with these grids. Now, every time this is a buy and a sell, buy and a sell, once the bot gets enough to where it can put another grid at the top, it's close enough. It's going to. So you can kind of see how this is going to all of a sudden start making this grid a whole lot bigger because then up at the top you have a bottom price that you've already stated so if my grid or if my price goes past 58.3 it will not trade however as long as it is staying within my bottom 58.3 and my top which is currently 59.2 it's going to be making profits so if we keep going there's some more there's some more. You see the candles hitting. You see the candles wicking. And we're going to stop it right there. So we've had several. So we could end up, we'll say we'll start it at, um, at 20 hundred hours. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight different, eight different possible buy and sell round trips. So that means we could potentially have eight additional grids. Now, I'm trying to make this as easy and as simple so you can understand. There is more to it. For example, if it is buying and selling just part of a grid, it's not going to make a full grid. So what I do, two, I think two of those grids, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that, I think that would work. So you can see how an infinity grid could actually be super beneficial to you. Okay. Um, and again, an infinity grid is going to be for, see, oh, hang on. Let's go back. Ooh, let's go back just a little bit. Because I want to show you that one right there. All 
I'm gonna try, let's, let's slow it way down and I wanna show you another feature of a grid bot. Let's see if I can capture it. All right, you see where it's at? It's at a little, oh man, I missed. I missed it. All right, we're gonna do it again. So you see that it's right under 58.9. Okay, watch how it goes all the way up. I think it hits 59.2, and then it wick. it's basically just a wick, a real quick wick. I'm trying to get it. Let's see if, oh, right, oh, rats. So it almost hit 59.3. Here's the thing, when it went all the way up, those were all cells, and then it drops back down and gets all those buys again. Again, that's the beauty behind a grid. It is going to be able to tra trade a whole lot faster than what you will um, be able to do manually. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more content later on. I'm hoping this helps you out. Um, one thing I will say about the Affinity Bot is you cannot pull your um, funds, so you can't release profit. So I know in a typical um, grid bot, you can end up clicking on the release profit, and you can get some of the after a certain point, you can get some of that change back um, that you're the income that you're making. An Infinity Bot will not do that because it continues to reinvest your ink or your your profits into grids so it continues to go now ultimately i will say this real quick before i sign off ultimately your bottom is still going to stay the bottom so it could go all the way up to seventy thousand, and it still is going to have a bottom of 58.3 so then that grid is huge but again, it's going to take more money to get that infinity grid started. All right, guys. So like I said, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Um, you know, I've got a couple links in the bottom of the page, Pinex Discord. Um, if you guys are interested, please feel free. Let me know what you think. Let me know about comments. If you have any specific questions, make a comment. And I hope this helps clarify some things. Again, happy trading, and I hope you all stay green.